let we have already studied the preparation of ozone with using Siemens ozonizer. Now let's see uh, two questions related to that. Now uh, they've asked me out of oxygen and ozone, which is paramagnetic nature. It's quite simplest question it is, but uh, basically when you're learning the molecular orbital theory, I'm not going to the depth of that. And when I do the board papers, when I get this question, I try to show you the molecular orbital theory. Now when I compare oxygen and ozone, which is paramagnetic, paramagnetic means which has unpaid electrons. Okay, right. So <clears throat> when I see the configuration of oxygen, it is 1 is 2, 2 is 2, 2 p, 4. So when I have to draw or fill the electrons according to Hunt's rule, 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is unpaid electrons. But according to MOT theory, I am not showing it as I said, according to MOT theory, where we draw the bonding molecular orbital and non -bonding, anti bonding and molecular orbital, we are, it is observed that ozone is diamagnetic in nature. <laughs> when I calculate the value, I got diamagnetic. But when I see this here, unpaid electrons, hence paramagnetic in nature. So, according to the uh, question given, what is paramagnetic and what is diamagnetic? <laughs> going to put it in a box and write oxygen is paramagnetic in nature. This is your answer. Remember, oxygen, unpaid electrons, paramagnetic. Let us come back and answer this question. Between O2 and O3, which is more oxidizing? So, I already told you, whichever releases nascent oxygen or whichever releases oxygen, that behaves as nascent uh, oxidizing agent. So, uh, when I take oxygen, okay, we when it dissociates, it is O and O. But when ozone dissociates, it dissociates into oxygen plus because of the release of this nascent oxygen and it behaves as oxidizing agent so uh, you're going to write the reason like this in a box because of because of release of because of release of oxygen or nascent oxygen O3 behaves as OA, please don't write shortcuts in the board exam, oxidizing agent. 